Tonight's episode of Canadian Championship Wrestling from the Ottawa, Ontario Auditorium in Ottawa, Canada. It is March 24th and we have an action-packed card. Three matches tonight as Martin Bernal takes on Pierre Vinette, Carol Fadden versus Chief Brown Bear, and in the main event, Bronco Nagurski faces Warren Bockwinkel. Let's go to the ring. As always, I'm Edvin Vincent. Up first on the card, it is Martin Bernal versus Pierre Vanette. Let's head down to the ring. Martin Bernal from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He is 27 years old. And this is his first action, his debut in Canadian Championship Wrestling. Meanwhile, Pierre Vinette comes to us from Nice, France. So it's French Canadian versus real French in this matchup. Vinette is 29 years old and comes to us to us also the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Montreal making his debut here on Canadian Championship Wrestling Martin Bernal from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. He is a brawler. Born October 9th, 1922. The age of 27 here tonight. Looking to get his first win in his debut on Canadian Championship Wrestling. And his opponent from Nice, France, Pierre Vinette. By 24th, 1920, that makes him 29 years old. Four months. <clears throat> This is going to be a slugfest of a match between two men making their Canadian Championship Wrestling debuts. Actually, Vinette participated once before on February 24th, so this is the second match. And as they tie up, Bernalt has Vinette in the corner, and now he backs away. Another tie up, and Vinette's going for a souple. 
holding him up high and then dropping him down on his back. So this is Vinette's second appearance on Canadian Championship Wrestling. It was my mistake earlier, thinking he was debuting. He, he wrestled a month ago. Losing to Shawn Michelson. Now they've taken it outside. Brawling outside, Bernal's got him in some kind of a uh, sleeper, drops him on his back, and they are still fighting outside. Bernal is back in, Vinette follows him in. You can follow as Bernal is the light haired colored one by Bernal. Bernal with an overhead chop, a kick to the gut. And Bernal reverses thing, and he is going to use the corner, folks. This is a very highly illegal move by Martin Bernal from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm not sure what you call that move in 1950, but Bernal is going to risk it all and go to the top rope. Drops an elbow on Bernal, and he covers him for the count. But a kick out by Vinette. Many people know that uh, French citizens don't consider Montreal, Quebec, Canada, French Canada, to speak the same language they do, a different dialect of French. So this matchup could definitely be a war of dialect between the two men. Bernal dropping an elbow to Vinette's lower back. All these men, they want a shot at Vern Gagne and the Canadian Heavyweight Championship. But in order to get that, you've got to mount wins. You've got to get solid wins. And Bernal with a two count, he's beginning to wear Vinette down a little bit. A knee to the back by Vinette as Vinette now takes control in this back and forth matchup. Kicks him into the chest and drops him on the back, on his back. And now Vinette looking for a pin. Acrobatic move, but no three count. He was unable to hold him down for even a count. What is Vinette going to try to do now? Oh, slamming his face down into the wrestling canvas. These two men simply do not seem to like each other or agree with how to pronounce their French words. Ben Vinette using the ropes, which is also illegal. The referee did not notice, but Bernalt is able to kick out. Vinette now dropping Bernalt straight on his back from the side. Kind of a leg sweep type maneuver. Bernalt turning things around. Oh, an overhead punch. Using that height advantage to his advantage and going for the three count now. And Martin Bernalt has gotten the win over Pierre Vinette. Bernalt successful in his debut here in Canadian Championship Wrestling. There was high-flying action, very acrobatic he maneuvers by both individuals. But Bernal gets the win, and he will have the celebration tonight, and will be able to enjoy the larger winnings of the purse. Larger share of the winner's share of the purse, I should say. So congratulations to Bernal. We've got more action here on Canadian Championship Wrestling. Friday evening from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Welcome back to Canadian Championship Wrestling. Here is a battle between Carol Fadden and Chief Brown Bear. Carol Fadden making his debut tonight in Canadian Championship Wrestling. And Chief Brown Bear...
also making his debut. The first time seeing either competitor on Canadian Championship Wrestling. This should be an interesting, unique match. Two differing styles between the two men. crowd is eagerly anticipating this matchup. Let's take a look first at Carol Fadden as he Maybe makes his way out to the, to the arena. He is from a small town called Anchiota, New York. And he was born on September 10th, 1925, making him just 24 years of age. Now for Chief Brown Bear. And his Chief Brown Bear. From it's easy for the ring announcer to say, Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. Chief Brown Bear, born on October 27, 1922. 27 years of age, just a little bit older than Fadden. This should be an interesting and exciting matchup between the two. Brown Bear going with a snapmare. And now going to work on Fadden's leg. Wrenching the knee back into the mat. <clears throat> Fadden with an elbow to the knee as he stops Brown Bear's momentum. And now he's going to butterfly suplex him over. And take control of this match on his own. Fadden kicking his way out of the corner. Reversing Brown Bear into the opposite corner and follows him in with a huge lariat. And now he's going to stomp on the man while he's down. Double axe handle. And he goes for the cover. This could be an exciting match between these two. Fadden driving Brown Bear into the mat. Mm -hmm. 
Brown bear reverses things, planting Fadden. Neither man can get an edge here, but Brown Bear is whipped into the front. Oh, he delivers an elbow to stop Fadden from doing the same maneuver again. And gets the suplex. Bringing Fadden back toward the center of the ring. Fadden's back seems to be hurting him, and Brown Bear, not sure what he's setting up for. He is setting up for an, kind of a death lock, maybe an Indian death lock. He's got it on tight. Can Fadden get free? Fadden does reverse his way out. His knee has got to be wrecked in pain now, however. Brown Bear goes for the cover. Carol Fadden is taking control. Puts Brown Bear on his back, but he is going to wait for him to get up. Oh, delivering a huge strike and now goes for the cover. Fadden kneeling on the back of the neck of Chief Brown Bear. And now he is going to go for a bear hug, but Brown here is going to fight. Brown Bear is going to fight his way out. Driving Fadden into the mat face first. And Brown Bear goes for the cover. And Brown Bear has gotten the victory. He picks up the win over Carol Fadden with a pinfall. And honestly, the, the crowd was definitely behind him as the match went on. Carol Fadden did get some shots in, but Brown Bear was resilient. He was able to come back, give Fadden some of his own medicine there, following him in with a lariat in the corner. Fighting out of a bear hug later in uh, later on in the match, and gets the victory. Winner, Brown and now it is time for the main event of our evening. When we come back, it'll be Warren Bockwinkle versus Bronco Nagurski, the NFL legend. Pro wrestler in 